Warren Waldorf, Chairman of uh, Borough Planning Commission. Um, I believe I agree with what has been just said. Um, I want to do a little more thinking about it. I would like to present it to the Planning Commission because um, we are the body who reviews the documentation. And um, to date, in my years on the Planning Commission, and I'll turn to you two gentlemen um, and uh, call upon your years at the Planning Commission, I'm not sure we ever saw too many sketch plans um, before recently. Uh, what we saw um, on the first pass was something that very much resembled a preliminary plan. Uh, a lot of times was called a preliminary plan and at times that preliminary plan is also called a final plan. Um, so the reasons for a sketch plan are obvious is that the, uh, an applicant can sit down informally with the Planning Commission and the Planning Commission can respond informally. Um, whether a, uh, an applicant appears off the street that evening, which very rarely happens, or the applicant um, visits the borough hall first, speaks to the zoning officer, and the zoning officer schedules a sketch plan, um, informal discussion with the planning commission, uh, and, a recent, and a reasonable amount of time for the planning commission members to be prepared to review it. Uh, with that in mind, uh, and knowing that there are some administrative fees that may accompany those activities, I could uh, agree with a modest sketch plan fee just for the administrative costs. Um, I really haven't thought too much about an escrow account um, for that, um, but going from a process where it was free professional advice from a planning commission and the fact that it wouldn't really extend beyond a review or a discussion of planning commission members, would not go to a solicitor, would not go to a borough engineer and therefore incur professional costs. Uh, this is basically a courtesy uh, by a municipality toward an applicant um, utilizing all of the volunteer professionalism available on the planning commission. Um, so basically it's, it's, a, it's a welcoming opportunity for both the applicant and the borough. Um, knowing that there are fees uh, of $1,000 or $2,000 um, to pay that kind of money for uh, a consultation with a volunteer body might be a little steep. Uh, and applicants, as they have in the past, uh, may appear before the Planning Commission with pretty complex documents and say, this is what we want to do. Uh, we've hired our own engineer. Uh, we comply with your ordinance fully, and we can do this. I can't count how many times I've seen those kind of proposals. So the fact that we can invite someone to speak with us with the goal being a more appealing project for all concerns, all concerned, excuse me, um, I think is really the direction the borough would like to go. A modest administrative fee, that's fine. There's really no formal application at this point to file. There are very little administrative costs other than a procedure um, to follow. And that procedure can be verbal. Um, so um, maybe you want to take a look at the numbers, take a look at the past, take a look at what's happening currently. Um, we're very happy to be seeing sketch plans uh, and spending time to review the sketch plans with the goal being the best product for all. Thank you. Julia, uh, I, I take Warren's point and, I, and I'm very sensitive to having been on the Planning Commission um, his point of view and um, um, I, I think that we need to um, 
suggestion might be to um, to take a closer look at this issue, um, have the Planning Commission uh, weigh in on on the best way to achieve the goal, because I do understand that getting an a, a informal look at a sketch plan by the Planning Commission has a lot of benefits. Um, that being said, we have uh, had this uh, fee schedule discussed and and advertised, and we're ready to vote on it. Uh, it's, we're sitting here in August. Um, it's the 2010 fee schedule. We have a few months left in 2010. Um, perhaps we can move forward with the fee schedule as is, but charge the Planning Commission to work with the zoning officer to come back with a recommendation for 2011. Um, and, and that being said, if there's a situations in, in the meantime, I, I, you know, there may be a process for, for discussing waiving the one or the other fees or something if, that, if a situation comes up. But I, I think the idea of having some sort of a fee is a, is a good one, and I, I uh, understand why jo Joanne recommended it. And I, uh, I support that, but I also support the idea of trying to get some more, uh, more of these sketch plans into, into the Planning Commission. So. Um, if, if we move forward tonight with the, with the uh, fee schedule as, as advertised, can we then move uh, uh, and, and request the Planning Commission to take a closer look at this? I think there was a motion. And there's yeah. a motion on the floor. Motion second. Yeah. Motion and second. Um, so you were suggesting that we pass it in its current form and then look at it. Uh, it's just a thought. That I mean, was it's just a thought that you hate had. to be pragmatic. But. All right. Okay. Well, we have a, uh, a motion on the floor, and no further discussion. Okay. Did you want to? No, but it does need to be open for public. Comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I did ask for public comment. Oh, and was there any other public comment? No. I think I think Warren was the only public comment. Okay. okay. All right. Um, and I'll call the question. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. The um, next item on Use your mic. Oh, I'm sorry. The next item on the solicitor's report uh, concerns the event ordinance. We had already addressed the adoption regarding forced local government mergers and consolidations. Uh, the next item is regarding the event ordinance. This is a proposed ordinance that has been discussed at the past uh, couple of meetings. Uh, and what I would ask for is a motion to authorize me to advertise uh, the event ordinance. It would be in the form as presented and discussed at the last work session. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Okay. And this is to authorize advertisement for September? Yeah, it would be for the September 14 council meeting. I believe that's right. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. And the last item on uh, the agenda on the solicitor's report, I understand that we are, um, a request has been made to Newtown Corporation for information and we're waiting for a response. So I would ask that that item be uh, held over uh, for a later date. Okay. Any questions?